There are many effective gully rehabilitation techniques that can be installed with low financial and manual input. Healing an eroded site can be as simple as changing your grazing practices or fertilising. One of the main aspects of reducing erosion is grazing land management. At the end of the dry season, it's really important to keep a good body of feed and to keep good ground cover. The body of feed means you've got root systems in the ground so water can infiltrate and it helps to hold the soil together. Ground cover is important so water droplets aren't hitting bare ground causing unnecessary wash. Farm tracks and fences can cause erosion, even when they've been correctly placed on a property. If the length of track slope is sufficient, wheel ruts and animal tracks can collect water and cause erosion. Low boy are like small diversion banks built across fence lines and access tracks and the like, and their purpose is to divert any flow running down the fence line or the access track, take it across the infrastructure and dispose of it onto one side into a safe disposal area. Another preventative treatment that reduces runoff is deep ripping. Deep ripping is a technique that can be used to ameliorate erosion, particularly in scalded areas and where you have tunnel erosion. In this case here we have a scalded area that's been deep ripped and uh, you can see that they are on the contour and it's very important that they should be on the contour and to get that correct you need to uh, survey these lines in with either a dumpy level or a laser level. If you've got contour banks already existing, you can just deep rip between them, but otherwise make sure you survey in the lines and then deep rip on the contour. The reason we use deep ripping is to create the opportunity for much more water infiltration onto scalded areas. When you get a rip line in there, it creates an area where you can get water in, silt will come in, and it's a perfect seed bed to get grass growing where we've had no grass before. Prevention is always better than a cure. Therefore, keeping erosion in mind and thinking of opportunistic ways to use material from your land can save you in material and labour costs. A great example of this is stick raked timber. Uh, if you're pushing timber, there's a really good opportunity to use stick rake lines to really help you in your erosive control process. So putting those stick rakes along the contour uh, will slow down water as it travels downhill. So that'll help that water pool up, infiltrate, provides a seed bank for all your perennial grasses so it can increase your grazing. So when you're creating that series of stick rake lines up the slope, make sure that you have the gaps aligned in a checkerboard formation so that water isn't concentrated going down the hill through gap to gap. So if you have one gap leading to stick rake, then that can really slow down that water. If you have the opportunity, try and get those gaps on the ridge line, but make sure you still alternate with a gap and then a stick rake line and then another gap. Uh, this is a small scale example of what those stick rake lines along that contour are achieving by slowing down sediment, blocking it here and creating a perfect seed bank for root vegetation. That stopped all that sediment running down into that drainage line. All gully types can be rehabilitated naturally through revegetation. Fencing, seeding and fertilising are hugely effective. However, complete stabilisation is only likely in gullies 50 centimetres deep or less that do not have steep walls, deep gully heads and are located in small catchments. Quite often you have these gully edges that are quite uh, bare and sharp and will take a long time to actually grass up unless you do something with them. Here we have a really good example of a steep gully that was battered off recently just there and you can see it's raw but it's got the topsoil coming over the top and here we have a naturally grassed up area that was at the right angle and has grassed up after it's been uh, eroded away just over natural courses over the years. So we're wanting to get this and if we start with that with topsoil on and we put seed and fertiliser on and lock up the area and control our stock management, we'll get this right along the edge of the gully which is a perfectly stable situation. Eroded gullies can also be healed with an opportunistic rehabilitation technique called porous check dams. Porous check dams are designed to trap sediment behind them so that this sediment allows a good germination area for vegetation to help stabilise that gully bed. Porous check dams can be constructed from whatever material you have at hand, such as wire netting, rock, wooden debris, hay bales and the like. They are a low cost in material method, but high labour input. 
These structures are usually only 0.3 to 0.5 of a metre high and should be spaced such that the top of the downstream one is level with the toe of the next upstream one. They should be well keyed into the bank and continue up the bank to a height above the, the biggest flow level. If you've got a large erosion problem on your property, keep watching. Our next video discusses effective medium and high input gully remediation techniques and structures.